All right, let's go. We're going to have some undocumented proof. Shit I've been telling y'all about. Right? Sonetta TV and the entire, not just Sonetta, the entire house of consciousness is 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 a uh, 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 um complicit in the fuckery that we see today and that we hear today chief x has been the only the only righteous man in this so-called conscious community who's been telling you niggas that you guys are a criminal enterprise now i made a video today saying i'm about to show that these niggas committed, committed murder. I, that's not what this video is. I'm going to do that video tonight. And you're going to see why people may need to be locked up. This is not that video. I switched and said, you know what? Let me play this video, narrate it, and show. So tonight, I'm going to show you and connect the criminal enterprise. This is just me, four years ago almost, exposing the community making sure everyone knows how do we get these frauds out the way and especially never bring polite on anybody's show and make him seem like he's some great guy. Watch what Chief X said four years ago and everybody dissed me for it. Everybody clowned me for being a righteous man because the truth bearer is always prosecuted. We're going to break this down on this video and tonight's video. <laughs> Y'all will never look at these so-called leaders you've been following and worshiping for 40 years. You will never look at them the same. I'm about to shut this motherfucking shit down because I'm sick of you niggas. This was in 2018. It's almost 2022. This was in 2018. You see at the top it says message to Sanetta and what? His stable of con men and frauds. I've been told you niggas this. You guys never listen to me. You diss me. You've thrown me to the side because Chief X was too righteous and too real for you. And I've always been that way. And we gonna see. Let's go. You niggas is implicated. And we about to show it right now. Even these niggas that's exposing polite right now today, the, them same niggas is guilty. And they're hating on polite. I'm not hating on polite. I've been busting polite's ass when he had them nappy head bitches and, and was Poe and Dusty in New York. I was banging on him. So no, I'm not just starting to bang on him. You niggas is just starting to bang on him because you niggas was complicit with him before I told you niggas. All of you. Let's see. So all you guys banging on polite today is some fake niggas too. Let's see. Um, people coming in slowly. And we're going to start this discussion. Now this video got almost 18,000 views. It got about 10,000 views on Facebook. Don't tell me you niggas didn't know. Everybody in the house of consciousness seen this video and didn't give a fuck about the conscious community. They, they don't like y'all and all they want to do is make money on you and they think you stupid as fuck because you really are unconscious. Let's go. And um, put it on the table. Just waiting for folks to come in. And we're going to have this discussion because I'm sick of it. Y'all know what I usually say. I'm sick of it. Yeah. I paused it. I was scathing mad and bothered with the conscious community at this point when I made this video in 2018. I wanted to see a change in the conscious community when nobody else wanted to see a change. I'm the protector of women and children. I've been trying to protect the integrity of the conscious community when nobody else has, bar none, all of them. Every member of the house of consciousness, including all the elders. Let's go. I'm sick of it. 
And I got a message for Sonetta. Um, and his whole stable of frogs. He got a stable of frogs. This is not no mistake or something I think. Oh, I'm tripping, I'm guessing, nah, none of that bullshit. This is some real shit. I got documented. Okay? So, um, message to Sonetta, right? Because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you bringing this fraud polite on. I'm sick of people playing dumb, like they don't know he's a scammer. What did I say? I said, I'm sick of Sonetta bringing on frauds especially polite. In 2018, I was calling this nigga out and you guys did not care. Shut your mouth today. I'm sick of all this bullshit. In 2018, I got receipts of three different people polite scam. How is people playing crazy and dumb? I had the man on my live stream. I got the receipts. Okay? I got Polite's bank account receipts. I got the money these two people sent it to. All in 2018. New shit, not old shit. Pause. Guess why I said new shit, not old shit? Guess why I said new shit and not old shit? Because Sonetta pissed me off the day before this and made a video Protecting polite, Pol uh, uh, Ankh, Sonetta was saying, well, he's not in jail, so he must not be scamming people. Polite not doing all this shit or he would be in jail. And Sonetta knew he was. I had all the receipts. Everybody had receipts. These niggas is complicit. The entire house of consciousness is complicit in what then happened today with this child being raped. The cargo medium scam? That was for donations. New shit, 2018. Just three I got receipts on in 2018, and that's what I know. That's what I know. So I'm confused on Sonetta and why he's pushing scam artists on the community on a daily basis. I was, Pol I was confused. I is a scam artist. Sonetta don't want to bring me on his show. I will show without any doubt. No one will be confused. No one will think otherwise. We will know. Bring me on Sonetta's show. You don't set up no show with Polite. And you got him as the guest. Here, Polite, explain to the people what they talking about and all the scamming. That's like going to the FBI to investigate the FBI. What the fuck is you talking about? Pause. Because he brought Polite on the show to explain away falsehoods that people have been saying about him. And Sonetta was protecting him, covering for him, and brought him on to clear up. He wanted Polite to clear up his own name and lie to us some more and talk his way out of all these fucking scams that I knew about, an entire house and consciousness knew about, and Sonetta knew about. Let's stop playing. I'm on y'all ass. Let's go. What is you doing? Why are you playing on the conscious communities? intelligence. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. So I met you doing it for views. Then you got this sissy nature boy coming on your show for views. It's not about the information, Sonetta. You know damn well he ain't kicking no good information for the community. Whatever he kicks is some bullshit to take people off their course. I'm sick of the bullshit. I'm sick of it. Sonetta, you brought us Minister Inky, a known scammer. I've got it all documented. Bam, I do have it documented and nobody ever shared it. And here, Minister Inky is today is trying to expose Polite. 
when these niggas damn near used to live together. Ask him. Inky was there from the beginning, scamming with Polite, co-signing Polite scams, co-signing all Polite's bad information, because Inky is the same kind of motherfucker it is. They're all birds of a feather. Let's go. I got videos on, on, on Minister Inky scamming, and Sonetta religiously brings this nigga to the community to push filth and disinformation. Yes, he does. Dr. Ali Muhammad is a staple. He's a known fraud. I've got the receipts. I've got proofs. I've got videos. It's irrefutable. You can't say he's not. KT the arts degree is a scammer and a liar. I've got the receipts. I've got videos on him. Polite, the pill. I'm sick of all you niggas. I don't know if you heard, but I said the pills. The pills, the entire cost, all these niggas is frauds and liars. Let's go. I'm sick of you. Sonetta brings all the scammers to the conscious community. All of them. And these are people you niggas look up to. All your heroes are frauds. All your heroes are charlatans. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. How does one get scammed? Why is people playing dumb? Why is everybody blaming the motherfucking victim instead of the culprit? The culprit. The culprit is polite. Bam. 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 What is niggas doing today? Well, maybe this. Maybe that. Well, the victim. They always blame the victim instead of these fucking demons. That's all you see is maybe people capping for polite, protecting polite. All these niggas is capping for polite, protecting polite because they are idolaters and, and they are birds of the same feather. It's all a hotel hustle. The entire conscious community has been scamming and lying about history in everything for 40 years. We're gonna get into that later on another video. Let's 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 talk about it. How do people get scammed? Okay. I'm a little naive young buck. Aisha look attorney Aisha made the video. She told you the dude was young and looked up to polite. And he beat the boy out of 70 grand of his inheritance. Not just no bullshit money, his inheritance. Pause. Pause. Name one person in the community who was bothered in the house of consciousness with polite scamming a child, a, a young buck, out of his inheritance money that he came into. Why none of the house of consciousness, why none of the Amin Waswa, why none of these cats now, none of the Timos, no, why, why nobody has mentioned, uh, well, they have, but they didn't really care because they wanted to curry favor with Sinetta still. They're all the go-along, get-along gang, except Chief X. I've been bumping you niggas head uh, for uh, years. Because I wanted integrity. This is why I keep saying today, you guys need to have professionals in your life. The conscious community is full of anti-science, fear-mongering, white supremacy, pushing on you to play with your emotions. Don't listen to professionals. They want you all to yourself. Remove every professional, everybody with a credential, remove them out of your life because they're lying. They're part of the system. They're, you know, they're going to try to kill you. Don't go to the doctor. They're going to kill you. Go see the herbalist. You know, wait to this video later on tonight. This is just the beginning. Polite gets these young naive. See, a scam artist, a con man, knows his victims. He knows how to get victims. He gets the ones that don't know any better. The naive ones. Okay? How does a person get scammed? They looking at Polite's YouTube, I mean, not YouTube channel. They looking at his damn um, Facebook page. They see all you suckers. Oh, Polite, get it, boy. Yeah, look, you're doing a thing. Oh, yeah. 
So the person getting scammed is just reading all y'all co-signing for like the new thing. He's reading all of you guys co-signing polite. He sees polite on black TV in the million views. He can't be a bad guy. He's on black TV. They see him on the Breakfast Club getting shined and promoted. In my naive young head, oh, he must be a good guy. He's on black TV. He's on the Breakfast Club. Everybody support me. Every comment I read on Polite's page, everybody saying, yeah, you're doing it big. You got it going on. You got your wife and all this old shit. You can't be trying to beat the community. You must be doing something right. Let me let me see what I can what you can do for me. Right? The scams today is for investments. It Didn't I tell y'all? All these guys. All of them, every, even the ones that are, are, are trying to expose him was buddy, buddy. And because he's caught up now, they're talking shit. But all these cats were co-scammers with him. All these cats, Inky was hanging with him. Didn't they live together? Somebody tell me. I'm not in New York with you bitch-ass niggas, so I don't know. I hate you New York niggas. New York is the biggest scammers country. Excuse me. New York has the most scammers in the entire United States. I can't stand these New York niggas. That's why I told you they all ran to 125th Street. All the niggas with the gift of gab, all the niggas who wanted to be seen and pontificate on TV and kick fake history and talk that dumb shit, and all y'all are brainwashed <coughs> and in a cult. 80% of anybody in the conscious community is in a is in a cult and brainwashed. Let's go. In mentorship. Y'all don't know that? I had two cats on my live stream telling you what the fuck they invested in that he didn't come through and show you. Didn't I? Huh? He said it was for investments. Polite's going to invest your money and mentor you. You don't hear him? That's the scam in 2018 he's doing. 2018 was a cargo medium scam. It's completely documented. What the fuck are you guys confused about? It's like Dr. Ali Muhammad. Two years ago, he was on Sunday TV. It acted like he had a science degree. He showed everybody the fake fucking degree. The word science is spelled wrong. A year later, you niggas forget. Oh, it's just Ali Muhammad. Oh, he's just showing us a fake ass degree. Oh, it's cool. Keep putting him on the show, Sarnetta. Y'all got short memories. That's what the fuck it is. You got short memories. You know polite is scamming. What's the question? Sarnetta brings him on for views. Simply. He got Nature Boy, this little sissy ass nigga, on here for views. In the conscious community, watch a nature boy, a sissy, and polite, a fucking fraud, go back and forth. We uplifting fucking frauds and shit as your heroes. Y'all know goddamn well, polite was the one Sebi grafted to. Talking about he had diabetes as a fucking kid. He's a lie. Birds of a feather flock together. Polite and Sebi got together because they knew each other was scamming and lying for each other and cross-promoting each other. You know a nigga ain't healed no motherfucking sickle cell. My granddaughter got sickle cell. I feel disrespected when a motherfucker walking around here telling me they can heal and cure sickle cell. And my granddaughter suffering from sickle cell. It's no cure for sickle cell. You know that. Your heroes are garbage. Sanetta brings all these fools to the table. Dr. Ali Muhammad is diagnosing people with a fake ass machine that's supposed to tell them everything that's wrong with their body. And then he prescribes a medicine for them. That's criminal. These niggas need to be in jail. 
Are you kidding me? Dr. Ali Muhammad and Polite needs to be locked up. I told you niggas four years ago, these cats need to be locked up because they're dangerous. I was trying to protect the women and children, and you bitch ass niggas didn't care. You whole ass niggas didn't care. You niggas is complicit. Shut your mouth today. In a Katie the arts degree, and Mr. Inky keeps frauding the people, they need to have their ass locked up. These niggas are selling poison. Go to their website. I got videos on all these niggas. They selling you poison, fucking trace minerals, and acting like it's essential for you to live and to be healthy. This shit is poison, bro. KT and Arch Degree sells bullshit poison. Minister Inky, fake ass Dr. Inky is selling bullshit and lying to you. You niggas is crazy in the conscious committee. I'm telling you, you niggas is crazy. You let a motherfucker walk around here acting like he's Jesus. I can hear the blind, the motherfucking sick, the motherfucking, I can do all this shit and hear you ignorant ass niggas up. Yeah, the heroes are garbage. I made a post about the first black woman that went into space. What's the woman's name? Uh, this is what I mean by you guys are anti-science and you hate professionals. That's why I'm bringing professionals. Listen. Uh, supposedly flew to the moon. The scientist, uh, the black uh, lady. I can't think of her name right now. I'm hot. I'm hot. She majored in black studies. Minored in black studies. And has a PhD. Scholarly real black folk. People snub their nose at that goddamn post. They didn't give a shit. They didn't give a shit about her. Your heroes are garbage. You uplifting the wrong goddamn people. I'm sick of you niggas. Who got some goddamn questions? What's up, Lorenzo? What's up, Ishmael? These cats is frogs. Put me on Sunday at the TV. You don't. Guess why I said put me on Sunday at the TV? Because I was arguing with all these niggas. I was arguing with all these niggas about scams and fraud, polite been doing, a bunch of other niggas doing, and they wouldn't let me come out and talk about it. They was protecting this nigga. The in. Even the House of Conscious members act like, okay, we disagree with him now. We no, all these niggas were protecting. Ask him, have they ever asked anyone in the Amen Ra squad, anyone in the House of Conscious community, have they ever shared this video? None of them have. If they haven't shared this video, why? Because they want to hide this shit. They want to keep fronting. They want you guys to keep getting beat. Because they're all the go-along, get-along gang. Chief X is the only righteous one in the community who, who stands up like a man and spills the beans and tries to correct shit, tries to get you guys on the right course, but you guys shit on me. You ho-ass niggas shit on me. That's why I'm about to become a YouTuber. You niggas is going down when I get big. You niggas is going down, I'm telling you. I'm changing all this shit. I'm putting cases on all you bitches. <laughs> Don't put the FBI on to, on to investigate the FBI. Sarnetta is disrespecting the people's intelligence with these frauds on his on his in his stable. I'm gonna tell you who I love. I love Dagger Squad. I love I'm in Ross Squad. Bam. I said that. Because at this time, damn near four years ago, Dagger Squad and me was cool. Ankh in Amin Ra School Squad was we was cool. I've been with if the movement since Jump Street from day one before there was a YouTube since '92. I know all you niggas moves. I know what everybody's doing and talking about. Now I mentioned them and said I love them. 
Because I thought they were the vanguard for making change and correcting shit and being real and honest. But they failed me too. They wanted to kiss Sonetter's ass so bad to be heard and seen, they helped Sonetter hide shit. They didn't talk about it. And I, I'm about to get on them here. And I was cool with Amin Ra Squad and Garfield at this point. We were down and cool. But I've always been getting on their ass if they fuck up. I haven't changed. If I'm with somebody and they fucking up, nigga, I'm going to get on you. I'm going to tell my homie the truth. I'm not going to have him out here looking crazy. If my homie walking around me and he got a booger in his nose, I say, brother, you got a booger in your nose. Get that out your nose. That's what kind of nigga I am. Let's go. Okay? Y'all niggas need to call these frogs out. I know you don't want to fall. Let me, let me, I'm, I'm chastising Garfield and Amarwa squad at this point, even though I know I'm cool with her. So they always know we got to keep Chief X back. Don't pick up. Chief X is 100% righteous. We just 90%. These niggas, what? They always said Chief X is our fire thrower. Watch me say it. Chief X is our flamethrower. Say they would use me to shoot fire at all the scammers and hustlers and people bullshitting and teaching false information because they know Chief X would come at their ass. So Chief X is our flamethrower. And niggas talking shit. Chief X want to be a part of the Army Law Squad. This is... <sighs> Them niggas don't want no real one of in their squad like me. Plus, I told y'all, I'm a lone ranger. I can't just join with clicks. I be doing my own thing. I don't agree with you niggas. You niggas ain't upright to me. That's why I never joined any club. I was always skeptical. I'm a skeptic. You niggas ain't so seem too righteous. I'm going to be down with you. But once you show me you unrighteous, and, and I started exposing Garfield for scamming. Garfield's a fucking fraud and scammer. If I tell you somebody's a fraud and scammer, you believe me. And watch. You don't, you don't see Garfield doing credit repair no more. You don't see Garfield advertising credit repair beating people no more, do you? Guess why? Because Chief X beat that ass. Chief X corrected that shit. Chief X cared about the victim and, and made uh, um, Garfield give some money back to a nigga he beat. Ask Dana Garrison. I stood up for the victim. I forced Garfield to give this man part of his $900 back. Ask him. Two weeks ago, this guy who got his money back, Dana, is on Ox Post. This is just two weeks ago. Mind you, this video is four years ago, so all these cats know. This same person, I got money back for the victim, because I care. He was on Ox Post two weeks, three weeks ago, saying that Garfield beat him. And Ox, and Ox crook of friends, clowned him. So yeah, man, get out of here. Whatever, yeah, get out of here. He's like, for real, man, he beat me. And I'm sitting here covering for Garfield, scamming ass. Because Garfield and Sonnet are the only one with big platforms he can be on. So he has to be cool with Garfield and Sonnet, even though he knows they're full of shit and kiki with them so he can be seen. You niggas are the go along, get along gang. All up with Sonnet, and now you don't want to create that drama and all that old stuff. Let me, you know, let me, let me, let me, let me just show how I get on. I'm in my squad, even when I'm cool with them. I've never sold out. You don't want to fall up with Sonetta and you don't want to, okay? Y'all niggas need to call these frogs out on his, in his stable. I'm going to tell you who I love. I love Dagger Squad. I love I'm in Ross Squad. Okay? Y'all niggas need to call these frogs out. I know. You don't want to fall up with Sonetta and you don't want to create that drama and all that old stuff, and you know what I mean? And you, you, you know the niggas is frauds. All y'all know they frauds. But you own Sonetta's platform, and it's understandable. You don't want to make no... Well, that's what I'm for. I'm the flamethrower for you. I'm the flamethrower for you. I don't owe nobody nothing. I'm not in no clip. See, I'm the flamethrower for you, and I've been saying this shit four years ago because I don't give a fuck about an evil, scamming-ass motherfucker. I'll call you out. I'm not trying to be down with you because we cool. Nigga, if we friends and I see you scamming and defrauding people, nigga, I'm busting your ass out. And we're not going to be cool. I can't fuck with shady niggas. I don't even trust niggas who wear shades. 
because the eye is the window to the soul. And a nigga who wears shades all the time is a shady motherfucker. Trust me, I've been observing the shade wearing niggas for a long time and I can't stand a nigga who wears shades every goddamn day. Guess who wears shades all the time? Polite? Minister Inky? I'm telling you, if a nigga wears shades all the time, that's a shady motherfucker. I'm a loner. Fuck all them niggas. I don't give a shit. None of them pay my bills. I'm both. Look. I, I, everything. These are receipts, niggas. These are receipts. I mail my customers shit daily. Oh, y'all don't remember when Randy Pooh was on blast? Oh, you don't remember when uh, 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 Polite was getting clowned and then he and he flipped it on the pills and he showed all them comments of blue and red pill never mailing people their shit. It was about 20 people. Y'all forgot that shit? These are receipts. I don't play. I don't play. I got a shitload of receipts. I mail shit. My customers get their shit. You can't find not one person, not one person in three years who didn't get an item from Chief X. Not one. Ask these people about blue and red pill and have they received their merchandise. They have it. It's like, hundred really, niggas, I don't even say shit because they too embarrassed they got scammed. If I know three people got scammed and I got receipts on three people, just think of the people we don't know. So yeah, a young buck listening to Polite, Polite sounding good, Vlad TV co-signing him, Sinetta's co-signing him, Breakfast Club co-signing him, everybody on his goddamn platform is co-signing him. So yeah, it's easily, a person easily can get beat and scammed. Looking up to what they consider heroes. Why are y'all playing dumb as fucking and blaming victims? Put the onus on the culprit, on the con man. Craig is his name. He was on my stream. I got receipts. He sent for like $4,000. I showed the receipts and niggas playing dumb. He just beat a kid a year ago out of 70K. $70,000 of his inheritance. Oh, it's okay. Why are people giving him their money? Why are you guys giving him some polite, polite money? Y'all should know. These niggas don't know. They knew. Polite will go to a motherfucking club and get a victim. He will go to a game and get a victim. They ain't got to be in the conscious community. These niggas he's beating is not in the conscious community. Half of a man. Half of them. And you niggas thinking he, he beat people that know. I've been told y'all four years ago. Bitch ass niggas. I'm scared to come out. Sick of you niggas. I'm sick of you niggas. You tell a pill to sh tell them to show you some postal receipts from the shit they mail. 40% of the people don't get their items from pill, polite. Dr. Ali Muhammad, Mr. Inky, it's all over the place. Are you dumb? Ignorant ass niggas. The whole conscious community is fraudulent. Let me not say that. It's some good people in the conscious community. It's just a lot of gullible motherfuckers. It's a lot of motherfuckers still Messiah prone. It's a lot of people still looking for black Jesus. Black Jesus ain't coming. Ain't no motherfucking magical herbs. There are no magical herbs. It's nobody. If a, if if Tim Bob sell turmeric and Genie sell turmeric, both their turmeric do the same fucking thing. That magic turmeric and the other one don't have magic turmeric. This person can heal with the herb and this person can't heal with the herb. The fuck is wrong with you niggas? It's snake oil shit. 
It's snake oil. Doctor, I don't care about that, what y'all think about me and talking about Dr. Sebi no more. I don't care. I don't. Damn. Why do you think I said that? Because every time I was telling people, no, this shit don't work. He's scamming people. He's beating people. People are dying because they're getting off meds. Nobody cared about the dead. Nobody cared about the victim except Chief X. Oh, we're going to get to the dead later on tonight. You stay tuned. This has been a criminal enterprise. Niggas should be in jail for murder. I've been told you niggas that. This video got 7, 18,000 views. You niggas been knowing this. This nigga, this video got about 10,000 views on Facebook. You niggas been knowing this. Don't give a fuck. They was getting on me for exposing Sebi because everybody was Messiah prone when I was getting on Sebi over the years. This was 2018. For years, Chief X ain't never, never gave a pass to any snake oil salesman. You niggas did. And that's why we're at the point we at today. Chief X has been the only one Calling frauds out, trying to clean up shit, and you niggas bash me because you know I'm too fucking real for you. Don't nobody got no business coming in the community claiming they can cure all diseases. Oh, you cure all diseases? And you gonna sell me something that's gonna cure all diseases? You got something for my grandbaby who got sickle cell? That's called a lie. That's called an intentional lie. It's not a mistake. Oh, I thought. That's why I can't. For four years, I told people, I'll give you $1,000 for anyone who got one documented case proof in 30 years of saving, healing anybody. What? See, four years ago, I said that. This is 2018. So around 2014, I've been telling people, I'll give you $1,000 if you can show one person documented that Dr. Sebi cared. Nobody cared. They let Sebi continue to rip off the community. They let Sebi tell sick people to get off their medicine. You know how many sick people died listening to Sebi? Oh, we're going to talk later on this evening. You stay tuned. Why is y'all heroes frauds? Why is y'all heroes con men? Huh? Don't you got some people, better people to uplift than con men and frauds? Huh? Let me see if any questions. Shit. Hot as fucking here. <laughs> I'm hot. There's a bunch of questions. I'm so damn hot and heated, I can't even read straight. <laughs> but yeah, so I met her. You, you, got, you got to answer to us. I was calling for Annette Sarnetta to answer to us four years ago. None of you House of Conscious niggas did. None of you cats in the Amin squad did. Let's keep it real and who is a real righteous man in the community. Who had your back for real? Nah, don't fuck with Chief X. <laughs> that nigga serious. That nigga wants shit to be correct. We can't make no money with Chief X around. That's why Sarnetta got videos calling me a bitch. That's why Sarnetta put videos up calling me a coward. Well, they know goddamn well I'm not no coward and I stand up to everybody. You niggas fail for they shit. You niggas let Ankh, you niggas let Garfield slander me. You let these niggas, and you guys won't even mention my friends I used to be cool with. Won't even mention my name today. All you bitch ass niggas is complicit. You don't run rough shot and just have house of conscious niggas, people on your platform, and they sit here protecting you. Weak ass interviews were polite. Call the victims. I got four victims. Line them up. You want them on the show? You want to see the real? They ready to come on. I'll call them right now. They ready to come on your show, son, and prove without a shadow of a doubt, polite, scam the fuck out of them. Did you guys ever see me on the show?
They will not allow Chief X on the show to tell it. I've been ready to tell it. What's wrong with you bitch ass niggas in the community? That's why Tasha K is going to bust y'all ass. I'm telling you, Tasha K is about to bust y'all ass. And I'm glad you niggas is going down. I got victims from D. Inky, Ali Muhammad, all these shots, and guess why? Because they see me debunking and calling you fake niggas out, so they inbox me. I got shit I never even spoke on, just because I wanted to be cool. But fuck that shit. I'm releasing all this shit on you frogs. All you niggas. Anybody inbox next to Ken, I'm telling it. I'm telling it. You can be embarrassed if you want. It's okay. I'm telling it. A nigga tell you he he on AIDS and y'all oh, goo goo ga ga oh, goo goo goo. You stupid asses. Nigga said he cured autism. I been a youth. I was a youth counselor for over a decade. You can't cure no autism with no motherfucking herbs. Why y'all let that shit slide? You know your badass kid can't be cured with no goddamn herbs. You know that. You know it ain't nobody been cured of lupus. My aunt got lupus and, and died of lupus. Ain't no motherfucking herb. And no fruits and vegetables gonna cure lupus. You better consult a doctor and some professional, not these quacks that's trying to get your money. Where did I say consult? I said consult a doctor and a professional. These niggas is trying to get your money. I've been telling you niggas. I'm out of here. Fuck this shit. Now I left. I got pissed. I've been pissed. That's why Chief X has been canceled. That's why the whistleblower has been canceled. That's why you gullible friends of all these people you call leaders has canceled me also. You niggas don't like righteous men. That's why Jesus got hung on the cross. The truth bearer is prosecuted. A lot of niggas need to apologize to Chief X for being righteous. A lot of niggas need to say, you know what, Ankh? You need to shut the fuck up and stop being scared of Ankh. Shut the fuck up, Ankh. Chief X is right. He's been right. And he meant well. Chief X always had good intention. You tell Ankh to shut his fucking mouth about me. You tell Garfield to shut his mouth about me. Them niggas is a go-along, get-along gang with Sonetta. And we're going to go into that later on today. I told you niggas you fuck with the wrong person. All your sins will be revisited. See you tonight. <laughs>